Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Last time I finally took out that fish, and this time I think I need to go through... You know what, actually it's good to go through this door. Yeah. The good thing though is that, uh, now that I have gravity boost, which I got last episode by beating that fish, finally. Okay, nothing's happening. Alright. Oh, okay, now it's happening. <laughs> yep. Dark versions of these. Uh, you defeat them the same way, only you use the light beam instead of the dark beam, which is probably better for... quick shots. Oh, come on. I don't need to uh, deal with these. Yeah. Darkling Aquatic. There's apparently more of them. Okay. I got the lore, so no point in, uh. Even though I'm totally gonna scan it anyway. Hm. Right. Why did I? Okay. Oh, didn't mean to press that button. This button is what I need. Oh, right. Because I have gravity boost, I can no longer, uh. Just simply ride it, apparently. Cool. I'd love to know how the physics. Wait, what? Oh, I have to hit the, uh. That's how this works. Come on. And that activates these. I believe it's this one that's uh, going really fast. Okay. Oh, well now we have a time limit. Uh. Well, I'm not making this. Oh, hey, I made it. Totally knew I was gonna do that. And now I guess it just stays on? No. No, it shuts off. Okay. Not that there's any point in uh, turning it on anymore. Let's see. Now we're back in this room. We can actually do something about this portal. Nope, that was not the right button in the slightest. Crap. Okay. Yay, now we get to go into the dark world. My favorite. Alright, come on. Okay, let's see. Why am I trying to scan it? There's no point in scanning it. And there's no uh, light zone. Oh, hello. Darkling ground is complete now. I don't think I've ever actually, you know, tried to, uh... Yeah... And if it's just gonna cause the game to lag, I'm not even gonna try to... to beat one of these. Uh, I guess that's it. Yeah... Certain enemies, for some reason, like, don't think it happens, uh, well, if it does happen when I'm playing casually, uh, it would just, it would be no problem to fix itself, at least, because the audio and video just don't get to sync there. But while recording, that's another story. Yeah. And that's annoying.
Let's see. Yeah, this looks, uh... Okay, that was not that bad. So now... Oh yeah, I forgot uh, what the, uh... Oh, you just had to, uh, exist, didn't you? I forgot what the dark version of this room was. I don't think you can scan whatever's up there, huh? Let's see. Well, whatever. Don't need to fool with it, I guess. Alright, this room's a very annoying, isn't it? There's also a missile expansion here that's very annoying to get, because... Because, yeah. What am I trying to do? Okay. It's, uh... Okay, there, that was... Uh, slightly less trouble than what I thought it was going to be. Alright then, so... Continuing from where I left off. Have I scanned this already? Not that I... Yeah, it's not a logbook scan. Alright. Dark beam. Go. And that opens up that. Then we can get up there. But you are just normal dark pirate troopers. Which means you're immune to the, uh... Okay, that also worked. Okay. Glad I did that. Okay. I need some more light beam, I guess. Let's see... What to talk about. I could just... go on and on about how annoying that last boss was. Like it's, uh... Well, I guess it kind of is difficult, but it's just annoying. Mostly. Because during that one phase, it's like nothing you do really damages it for some reason. I don't know. I don't think I ever, f never figured out why. Like, uh, figured out the best way to go about that boss. Also, from what I've seen, it's probably worse in trilogy version. Like. Trilogy has a number of things that people do like about it, like the free aiming and whatever, but the free aiming seems like it would be a detriment in that fight, and I guess the, uh, what I'm getting from this situation is that I need to go down here. Because you have to be kind of precise with that. Oh, I was hoping missile would activate the beacon. Come on, it would be nice if it didn't lag when there weren't enemies on the screen. I know I keep saying that this is the last annoying boss fight, but then more annoying boss fights. So, uh, I've scanned Dark Preets, haven't I? Pretty sure I have. Do they not respond so I can check? Just forget it. Doesn't matter in the slightest. Okay, so this is all just a mess, right? Yeah. 
that's inaccessible. That's also a light beam that just leads to. Oh, that's where I came from, yeah. Though, uh, this would lead to the, uh, room with the portal that I used. Do you have anything interesting to say? I seem to remember you do. Yo, Hayden Gas. What the heck is no Hayden Gas? Whatever. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Alright, well. Or this seems to be the uh, way to progress. You know what? I need light beam ammo. Let's see. Alright. This all good? I scanned you. Are you even important? Relevant? Whatever, I guess you're not. Venom Weed was a scan in the first Metroid Prime, I guess it's not here. This looks like a room. Hello, it's the Grapple Guardian. How you doing? Grapple Guardian, Rebel Beam, Power Darkling, Armored Target, you like. Why am I reading this? Weak spot, back shell. Either the special attack when angered. Okay. I guess the. What we're supposed to do is just. Keep hitting its eye, and then we'll use the, uh. The Grapple Beam on, uh one of these things and get stuck and then we can just totally wham on its behind let's see come on much with Nintendo's and having their weak spot be on the eye <laughs> okay that didn't work what are you doing? That's to say nothing of the uh, Nintendo bosses where the boss itself is just one giant eye. Alright. Ah, uh, you seem very ticked off. Have you uh, had to deal with the uh, Alpha Blog at all? Let's see. I mean, this is pretty much a simple fight. Alright, I forgot this step. Come on. But I will definitely take it over, uh, the Alpha Fog. Yeah, I have scanned. Why do I keep on thinking I haven't scanned the boss? I just need to make sure. Uh, Alright, you're stuck. Well, really? I'll just wham on it from, uh, with the not charged up beam. Like, wow, this boss really is easy. Because it's, like, down to, like, a quarter of its health already. And... Alright, that happens. I'll just, uh, shoot it with the light beam, I guess. Come on, you know you want to hit it. What am I even doing now? Okay, well that worked. I thought I'd just run out of light beam for no reason. 
waste all my shots. Come on. There we go. Second phase. You're also unable to uh, scan it for your logbook. I guess they didn't want to give a sub guardian uh, more than one logbook scan. Is he target? Eyes will disrupt. I guess we're just continuing the damage at that eye. Like, uh, if you didn't scan it, you, uh. Alright, I guess that does cause. Uh, it to lose HP, well then this is the easiest phase ever then. <sighs> you will get a, a, a very uh, small window of opportunity to uh, just scan it again, like here. Before it like completely dies, you can scan it, but whatever. And I have like no light beam ammo left. Which is why I'm getting dark beam ammo, of course. Grappling beam. Yay. Okay, and now that happened, which is uh, great, I'm sure. That's what we wanted to happen, right, guys? It's all according to plan? Oh yeah, we can scan the grapple point now. Apparently we have more systems. Oh, right, yeah, I know what systems we're missing, okay. Alright, so... It's, uh, just... Funny that, like, in the first Metroid Prime, like, the tutorial segment... ...section flat out had a part where you had to use the grapple beam. And, like... I recall just not getting how that worked, and that was, like, the part where I died. Like, ran out of time. Great. I guess I should, uh, be going after more life beam here. That would be help very helpful, I'm sure. Let's see... Alright, that's it. Oh, we got one more. Not that I don't... I don't think life beam is going to be that necessary. I might as well just put it back how I found it. Even though there's no real need to do that, I don't think. Oh yeah, I could, uh... I couldn't use it as a step if I, uh... I left it, uh, the other way. Although, there's no, uh, f uh, rotating arms, so... No point in even be up here. Alright, I don't know. Which way am I going? Mm, probably not this way, although, at this point, I might as well just accept it. Right, because that's the way we came. From the boss fight. This is where we want to be. If I had power bomb, I could just use the portal that's, uh... Alright, you exist. That's on the uh, lower part of it. But no. Die, sheesh. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Yeah, this room. All right.
Alright, so... How am I uh, getting out of there? Right, I can use the grapple points now. That's very helpful. Where did the laser go during that uh, cinematic? Did it just turn off for some reason? Why would it do the whatever? Uh, don't need to scan you. Don't even need to fight you. I don't care if you uh, hit me. Yep. Bloglings. I really just. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, this is the save point. I think this is good enough for the episode. We have Grapple Beam now. We have two out of three of the keys. What am I doing? I don't know. And uh, I should mention that now that we have Grapple Beam, this is the uh, part of the game where the where the Nintendo Power Strategy Guide suggests that you uh, get the Dark Burst. Wow, that caused like massive amount of damage. Okay, and they respawn because they, of course, why wouldn't they? I guess the uh, game uh, or the guide intends for you to uh, use the uh, yeah the uh, secret door to uh, go to Aegon now this way. I don't know. My thought process is if I'm going after it, you know, or, uh, before Power Bomb, I would just do it immediately after getting Seeker, since you don't need Grapple Beam at all to get Dark Burst. There is no Grapple Points, and I'm already outside of Aegon anyway. Or, no, I'm already outside of Torvis anyway. So whatever. Whatever. 